The euphoria over sending its biggest contingent ever to the Olympics did not last as the performance of Indian athletes did not measure up to the promise. It was a crushing reminder to not only sports authorities but also to an expectant nation that believed medals were just there for the taking. All our athletes needed to do was show up in sufficient numbers. In the event, the Indian Olympics Association's hope of a double-digit tally, better than the sixth medal hall in London four years earlier, came to naught as India returned with a mere silver and a bronze from the Rio Games. India's deep embarrassment was redeemed ever so partially by four women, silver-winning shuttler PV Sindhu, bronzed wrestler Sakshi Malik, a refreshingly confident gymnast Deepa Karmakar, and 18-year-old golfer Aditi Ashok. The latter two missing the podium but giving a worthy account of themselves, all treading into uncharted territory as Indian women athletes. As the collective thought process of the nation turned from hope to despair, it was Malik who finally broke an unwanted duck on the 13th day of the global competition. Sindhu and Deepa put a bit of gloss on it and everyone was happy again. The narrative changing to women power or girl power. Wrestler Narsing Yadav's protracted but ultimately wasteful saga of earning a spot at the Olympics but getting disqualified for doping hours before his first bout was another ignominy India could have done without.